linear programming in this video i am going to teach you transportation problem there are two factories located one at p and other at q from this location a certain commodity is to be delivered to each of the three depots a b and c we have two factories i'll take it as p and q here and from these two factories certain commodity has to be delivered to the three depots a b and c which i am taking it here so that i can draw the transportation lines that is commodity is transferred from the factory p to a like this then from q to a like this in the same way from p to b and q to b and in the same way from p to c and q to c now the weekly requirements of the three depots are 5 5 and 4 so this depot require 5 units and this require 5 units and this require 4 units while the production capacity of the factories at p and q are 8 and 6 so this produces 8 units and this produce 6 units and the cost of transportation is given in the table now the question is how many units should be transported from each factory so that the transportation cost is minimum from the factory p let us transport the commodity x then this a requires 5 units so the balance 5 minus x will come from the factory q in the same way if i transport y units from p to b the balance 5 minus y will come from the q then we transferred x units and y units from the factory 8 so the balance remaining will be 8 minus x minus x minus y that will be transported from p to c in the same way the remaining requirement of the c is 4 minus of what is already transported from the p that is 4 minus of that whole thing now we can simplify this as 4 minus 8 which is minus 4 plus x plus y now we have six lines and all the six line form the equation the first equation is x is greater than or equal to 0 that is this first part then y is greater than or equal to 0 and the third part is 8 minus x minus y greater than or equal to 0 if i carry minus x and minus y to the other side so 8 is greater than or equal to x plus y if i write the equation in the reverse order x plus y less than or equal to 8 so this is one equation in the same way if you take these lines it gives you another set of equation that is 5 minus x is greater than or equal to 0 and if i rearrange this i can carry the x term to the other side that is phi greater than or equal to x so x less than or equal to phi in the same way the next equation is phi minus y greater than or equal to 0 and again if i rearrange i'll get y less than or equal to phi and the last equation is minus 4 plus x plus y is greater than or equal to 0 and if i carry the 4 to the other side i'll get x plus y greater than or equal to Four. So we got all the six equations. After getting all the equations, we are going to plot in the graph. In this, these two are x-axis and the y-axis. So no need to plot. And this equation, we have to make a box to find the points so that I can plot it in the graph. So x plus y we have greater than less than or equal to eight. If you take a box. with x and y as one one value zero this is zero this is zero if x is zero if i substitute here y will be eight in the same way y is zero x is eight similarly i have to take the another equation this one for this i am going to put a box x plus y greater than or equal to 4 so take x and y in first place x is 0 and in other other place y is 
then if x is 0, y is 4. If y is 0, x is 4. So these are the points we got. And these two are vertical and horizontal lines in the graph. So now we are going to plot all these lines in the graph. Since the maximum value is 8, I will take the scale as 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So I will take the x axis and y axis. So we have y axis, then we have x axis and we have to write this as x, x dash, then y, y dash. This is 0 and I will take the measurements here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 here. Even here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now coming to the lines, we have 0, 8 that is this point. This is 0, 8 and this is 8, 0. So 0, 8 will be here. Then 8, 0 will be here. So we have to make a line. So I will draw the line here. Okay. And actually this line should be extended on uh, either way. Then coming to the next one that is the points are 0, 4 and 4, 0. So the point will be here 0, 4 and 4, 0. So we have to join this line. Okay. Then after that we already had two vertical and horizontal line I told. That is x is less than or equal to 5, y is less than or equal to 5. So at the 5 in both x axis and y axis we have to draw the vertical and horizontal line. So here we will be having horizontal line like this. That is y less than or equal to 5. Then in the x also we have a line like this which is that is at 5. So we finished all the lines. Now we have to see the shaded region. Just a minute. After this, in the equation we already had these two lines are less than. So we have to shade towards this direction and this line we have to shade towards this direction and in the first equation we had less than or equal to 8. So we have to shade towards the origin. This is greater than or equal to 4 away from the origin. So this is towards the origin like this and this is away from the origin. So considering all these direction, the common region which we have to shade is only this part. So this we have to shade. After shading this, all the corner points I have to write. This is a feasible region and we have to take the corner points. The points are, I will take this as A, this as B, then C, D, E, and F. These points we will write it separately here. The point A which is from the graph 4, 0. Then point B is 5, 0. Point C is we can see it is 5, 3 from the graph then point D is 3 comma 5 then point E is 
zero comma five, and the point f f is zero comma four. The point f is here, and point e is here. Zero comma five, zero comma four. Now all these points, I have to find the value of z. What is z from the question? They want the transportation cost minimum. So the transportation cost is the z value. In this table, they have given the cost of transporting from P to A is 160 rupees for one unit. It is per unit, and we are transporting x units from P to A. So the total cost we should multiply this x with this 160. In the same way, this y with this hundred. In the same way, this much of unit is transported from P to C, and that into this one fifty. So I'll write it separately here. The value of z is one sixty x plus hundred y plus one fifty into 8 minus x minus y. In the same way, plus we see that 5 minus x unit is transported from Q to A. The cost per unit is 100. So if I continue in the same way, that will become 100 into 5 minus x plus 120 into 5 minus y. Plus 100 into minus 4 plus x plus y. All these things we have to simplify to get the value of z, and that should be used to calculate the z at each point which we marked. Now we'll simplify the value of z here. So z is equal to first term is 160x plus 100y. Plus, if I multiply this 150 inside, this is going to be 1,200. Then, if I multiply 150 with minus x, I'll get minus 150. Then minus 150y. Then plus 500 minus 100x. Then plus 600 y then sorry plus 600 that 600 will come here and minus 120 y it is minus 120 y then again if i multiply the 100 inside we get minus 400 then plus 100x then plus 100 y so if we simplify this these two we can cancel this will become 10x then this 100y and 100y will give 200y And these two combine minus 270. So totally 200 minus 270 is minus 70y. This will give 200. If I add 200 with this 700, 700 with this 1900. This is the value of z. Now copy the z value here, which is 10x minus 70y. Plus thousand nine hundred. Now at the point A, x is four. So if you substitute here, this is going to be forty plus thousand nine hundred. That will give one nine four zero. Then if I substitute five here, this is going to be fifty plus one nine zero zero. That will give nineteen fifty.
then coming to the third point if i substitute 5 comma 3 this is going to be 50 minus 210 plus 1900 so total lead is going to be 1740 that is equal to 1740 the next point 3 comma 5 so this will become 30 minus 350 plus 1900 it is 1580 then point is 0, 0,5 that will be 0 minus 350 plus 1900 that will give 1550 and the last point 0, 4 that will give 0 minus 280 plus 1900 and that will give 1620. Among this, we need the minimum cost. So, the minimum cost is 1550 and that happens at the point D which is 0, 5. So, our solution is 0, 5. So, we have to transport 0 units from P to A. So, write the solution here. P to A, it is 0. Then P to B, it is 5 units. Then P to C, already we transported X and Y. So, if I substitute X and Y here, the remaining will be 3. So, 3 units we have to transport from P to C. In the same way, from Q to A, we have to transport, if I put 0 here, it is 5. Then from Q to B, if I transport, if I put Y as 5 here, it will become 0. Then from Q to C, already this is 0 and 5. So, remaining 1 unit will be transported from Q to C. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and share the video to your friends.